Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's about 4, 4.30 in the morning. We're getting ready for another ride. This is not the ride vlog uh, that will come later, but uh, we're going to be talking about something totally different. Uh, everything is set, but I still have another half an hour to go. So I was just uh, pulling everything out, the jacket, the shoes and stuff. And I realized that uh, it's been over 10,000 kilometers that I have been using my Orazo riding boots. And uh, if you have seen my unboxing video uh, that I'd taken probably about six, seven months ago, I had mentioned that I will be making a long-term review once I've used it enough. And uh, this 10,000 kilometers, I, I think it's enough because you know, all of my recent uh, off-road videos are being done using these boots. And at the same time, uh, during this time, I'm, I'm, I'm just a beginner when it comes to off-roading. So there has been a few crashes and a couple of them are in the videos as well. And uh, uh, at the same time, a lot of trekking and hiking and stuff. Whenever I go to a place, it's not just ride, ride, ride. So I uh, see what's around and stuff like that. So uh, this is the only boot I carry apart from the slippers in case it's like a beach or something. It has a complete ride from Bangalore to Ladakh and back to Bangalore. Few days of break and then to Kanyakumari, Rameshwaram, Danushkodi and then back to Bangalore. So basically the shoe has seen the whole country north to south and I think that should be good enough for a long term review and um, I'll let you know what I liked about it I'll let you know what I didn't like about it and you can see what boxes it checks if you're planning to buy the shoe so hopefully it helps let's get into it coming in the frame so probably use this this is like a baton anyways uh, this is the video that I was actually supposed to shoot today after I come back from my ride but uh, then what also happened so probably this I'll shoot tomorrow and uh, it's, it's basically going to be a comparison between a road bike and an off-road bike so if there is something which you have ever thought about or wondering about this is probably something that's going to come tomorrow or day after so watch out for that so to start with I'll give you an idea about the current condition of the shoe um, Looking at the history of the shoe or just the way we spoke about it, you would already know that I have uh, not used this gently or lightly in any ways. I have actually done anything and everything I wanted with this. So no compromises on that. And if you look at both the shoes from all the sides, there's no major damages or anything of that sort. I uh, am pretty happy with the way it held up when it comes to Ladakh and stuff, especially uh, it was more like uh, a lot of water crossings and trust me it, it is it is pretty waterproof uh, until here uh, it's completely waterproof this trademark can be your limit uh, anything over this the water will start seeping in but anything below that i've never really had an issue so great with that and all the water crossings have been very rocky full of stones pebbles and a lot of them hit me but uh, both the toes are uh, steel toes and uh, no damages to that as well everything held up very well and never really had to worry about what will happen to my feet if i bump into something and ankle protectors also did their job uh, so basically uh, when it comes to protection and the qual build quality of um, the boots i would say first class i didn't really have any issues but talking about the off-roading side of it uh, i do have ankle support but uh, the rest of it does not have any kind of a rigid structure so if you are off-roading or using this as a primary off-roading boot i would say you would have better options but um, again if you're planning to use like a sport shoe or a trekking shoe this is way better than that and it's also the same price as those but uh, if you are into touring and you want one boot to ride on and also to explore the places on this is the best bet but uh, if you're looking for a boot primarily for off-roading uh, you, you might want to go for actual adventure boots but they will cost you anywhere around 15 to 20 thousand a good one and if you don't have the budget this would be a good starting point at the same time uh, if you look at these stitches here in front i'm thinking i know what that is for i think it's for flexibility and if that's what it's for it is doing the job very well i have actually come into situations where i have been running with these shoes and i was still okay with it and the best part, uh, I use the Xbox 200 and it does not have the rubber grip on the foot peg. It has those pointy spikes to make sure there is grip. And 
the bottom of the shoe no damage is at all i'm a big guy and that much weight on the foot pegs on pointed foot pegs uh, and no damage to the rubber or the sole below i'm i'm pretty impressed so that's been my experience so far uh, one more thing i should let you know i have tried washing the shoes a couple of times i have washed it with water and liquid detergent and everything was okay i used shampoo once next time i had detergent so i used the detergent i i, I soaked it well because off roading a lot of mud and all gets collected so uh never really had any issues with washing as well so everything has been good you might have noticed i don't really have any complaints if there are any i will let you know if you've had any issues with this boot put it on the comments at the same time if you are looking for uh, a shoe to start with as a riding boot this i think is a good option or if you want a proper riding boot and around 5000 is all you have I don't think you have a better option uh, in that price range compared to this one any other questions let me know in the comments uh watch out for the helmet video which i will be putting in next day or two and uh, that's basically a road helmet versus an off road helmet if you've not subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel hit a like on the video and i'll see you again in the next one